So for the next effect, I'm gonna do a reverse reverb. It's like a swell in type of sound. So I'm gonna try it here on the verse, and I also wanna try it on the hook, see where it fits, and if it sounds good, we'll keep it. If not, we'll take it out. So I'm gonna zoom in here, make sure you're in slip mode, and just go ahead and chop off the one of the words, or even just a part of a word, Command E, so it just sounds like this. What? Just that little piece. And then I need to duplicate this, so right click, duplicate, and no active playlist, automation, or alternate playlist, okay? and then hold Option and drag the copy down. So now I'm gonna zoom out, hold Shift while this is highlighted, and then click over, just have a good space right there. And then I'm gonna go to Audio Suite, go down to Reverb, and then go ahead and pick a reverb where you could add reverb and reverse it and do all that. So I'm gonna go with uh, True Verb Mono here. Let's load up the Cathedral and hit Reverse. Okay, so it reversed it, added reverb, and reversed it back. So now I could exit out of this and give it a listen. What I'm feeling like is in a okay, so it's that swell up type of sound. So I'm going to alter it a little bit. I'm going to turn the clip gain up. Make it not so long. Fade it in. Chop off the end here little tiny fade at the end let's see what I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between alter the fade have it more of a scoop up so it's not as long and it just gives it more of a uh, quick swell in da -da -da -da. I'm feeling like it's intertwined cross between confusion and all right so that sounds pretty cool I'm gonna take the reverb and I'm gonna put it on this track right here and I'm gonna turn it up make sure I'm in center right here for mono turn it up a bit see how this sounds what I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion at the cross back it off a bit but I do like how it sounds what I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion I'm gonna try the fade that's a little less uh, of a steep slope. Do a little less, try that. What I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion at the crossroads in my inner sight, getting three steps. Something that might be cool is to mix this with a stutter because the beat drops and then his vocals start after. So what if I swell up and then hit right on the beat. Let's take this whole thing and have it to where the ending is gonna start right here. So I'm gonna flip over to slip, slide it right here. What I'm feeling like is in a Okay, so the swell and then the kick hits, but let's have a vocal in there as well. Switch back to grid mode and just grab this section here. So I need to go to a smaller grid, 16th note. Let's try cutting it like that. I'm holding option and dragging it over. One more time. What I'm, what I'm, what I'm feeling like Let's get rid of this first one and get rid of this. What, what I'm feeling like is intertwined. Okay, so instead of keeping the stutter right here, I'm actually gonna get rid of it, have no stutter, but extend the reverse reverb and just leave in the backwards what, or the little word that was right there. So you still hear it, it sounds like a little bit of a stutter, but it doesn't quite hit the same as being over here in the empty spot. It hits right where the beat drops. What I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion at the crossroads in my inner sight getting three steps in one All right, so I think that sounds pretty cool. So let's hear it from the beginning What I'm feeling like is intertwined cross between confusion at the crossroads in my inner sight All right, for now, I'm gonna leave that I might change it up later. I'm not sure yet So now we're gonna go on to the hook and see if we could do a swell in there and if it sounds good or not so I'm gonna grab this little section right here, Command E. Let's duplicate the track. I don't want the active playlist, alternate, or the automation. And then I'm gonna hold Option and drag it down. 
Let's go ahead and bring it over a bit. Hold shift and click. It should be a little, that's a little much. Let's go right around there. Audio suite, go to reverb. I like true verb mono. And then I go to load and cathedral and hit reverse. All right, let's check it out. I keep loving on the replay, so, so what you saying me from me? All right. So on this one, I don't want that S at the end. Let's put it like that. Take a little bit off here and give it a fade. Way, but I ain't holding grudges. I keep loving on the replay, so. So what you saying me from me? And zoom in so I can give it a little bit of a boost here. And I'm going to bring this whole thing over a bit and chop it off. Let's try that. I ain't holding grudges, I keep loving on the replay, so. So what you saying there from me? I got the Cut this. I ain't holding grudges, I keep loving on the replay, so. So what you saying there from me? All right, and then turn up the reverb a bit. So, so what you saying there from me? All right, let's see how that sounds. Hey, but I ain't holding grudges. I keep loving on the replay. So, so what you saying there from me? I got the space in my heart. That's with it. Here's without. I just I keep loving on the replay. So, so what you saying there from me? I'm gonna tuck it in there a little more and just really push that reverb on it. Replay. So, so what you saying there from me? Okay, I like that, but I'm going to throw some EQ on there, make it sound a little bit different. Take some of this high end off of it. Grudges, I keep loving on the replay, so. So, what you saying there from me? Just going to back it off a bit. Okay, that sounds okay. It's just this little part right here, I'm going to automate the volume because. I really like the swell up, but this right where it hits is a little hot. So I'm going to turn that down a bit. And one last thing, let's try and delay on there as well. So I'm going to throw an H delay directly on it. Let's take the dry wet down to about 20%. Let's load up a quarter note, put some feedback on it. So here's what it sounds like soloed. All right, so I like the delay in there. I keep loving on the replay, so. So what you saying there from me? I got the space. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the waveform. Let's go to grid mode, and a full bar. And I'm gonna copy this over, drop it in here. Do the same thing for the last one. And let's make sure our volume automation is there. All right, everything looks good. So now it's on all of the hooks. Okay, so I like it on the hooks. I'm just gonna take this one out for now on the verse. I'm just gonna leave it with the delays going into it instead of the swell up. I might change my mind later on, but for now I like it just right here on the hooks.